You guys, we're super excited. We have Jordan Spicer with us. He's with Farm Bureau Financial Services. Um, he's going to talk to us about all things insurance and all the other stuff that you do. So kind of give us the skinny on what you do. Yeah. So um, so we, like you said, all things insurance, right? So we do everything from home, auto, life, business insurance, annuities. That sounds so fun, Jordan. I know. Do you it's love super it? exciting. <laughs> it's, it's what every kid... It's kind of like mortgages where you're like, sweet. No. It's what every kid's, kid dreams of when they grow up. I know. Right? I tell people, like, I did not grow up thinking loan agent. officer. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, yeah. I want to be a loan officer when I grow up. Yep. But we all know we need it. Yeah. And there's certain things that are super important about it. So one of the reasons we wanted to bring Jordan in today is he does a very good job of making sure that you have the right coverage. Yeah. So what do you see... When people call you, like, I would say, like, what's, what, how do you phrase that? What do you see that people should have that they don't? So the, the main thing is li their liability limits, right? So the, the common misconception, the most common misconception I, I kind of come across with, with new clients or prospects is, you know, you ask them, hey, what do you have now? What kind of coverage do you have now? Um, and the number one answer I get is, oh, well, we have full coverage, Right. Yeah, so oh, what what is that? Exactly. That <laughs> and so a lot of people when they when they think full coverage, they think, oh, I'm, I'm fully covered. I'm good to go. Right. Um, but in reality, all full coverage means is that you have physical damage coverage for your car. Right. So if you run into a pole, if you rear end someone, you can get your car fixed. Um, but that really has no bearing on how well you're actually protected. If you hurt someone else mm -hmm. or if you total someone else's car. Um, My so husband has tried to talk me into the one where it's like. It's just enough to fix your car. I'm like, nope. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, here's the thing. I mean, I look at, it, at insurance as it, it's for things that ruin your life, not your day. Right. Right. Ooh. That's who I like um, that. I like that. Yeah, it's just Hashtag. a... Hashtag. Yeah, no, for sure. Because, <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. Is it is it is it harder to get over a, losing a $10,000 car or, you know, a $100,000 lawsuit for injuries that you caused, right? Right. So... Um, that's the, that's the number one thing I'd say is just making sure they have adequate liability coverage to protect their assets, protect their the equity they have in their home. Because it's not always just like I mean, like with our, I have a what are they called the umbrella? I have yeah. an umbrella policy, yep. which is supposed to protect me from more things yes. and more liability. <clears throat> and I do that because I have businesses, yep, and things of that nature. But not very many people do those policies because do they need it? Do most people need that? Most people don't. Okay. No. I'm um, just special. Yeah. So, I mean, my, my rule of thumb when I'm sitting down with someone is, you know, I, I go through all their assets, right? So we kind of dive a little deeper. Um, you know, I ask them, hey, you know, how much equity do you have in your house, right? I'll look up the value of their home before they get there. You know, what do you owe on that? Figure that out. Um, same with the vehicles. I'll look up the blue book values of their cars, typically. Um, find out what they owe on each of those. Do the math for them. What do you have in retirement? What do you have in your savings account? You know, and these are sometimes I get people asking, well, why do you need to know why that? You know, know you're your car insurance agent, right? Um, but it's important so we can kind of calculate what do you have to lose, basically, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, and then based on that, we make the recommendations. So rule of thumb is you want your liability limits to be equal or greater than your net worth. Yeah. Right? Uh, that way, no so one like can... twenty bucks. Is, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. maybe for hey. me. <laughs> oh, some some people. I'm just kidding. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of people that. Are, hey, it's you know, twenty five now. It's 20. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, young people especially, right? There's newly married couples that are. They don't, they don't have, have a, a lot of they don't assets have a lot. or anything. You know, a lot of times they're negative net worth, right? Right. And in that case, it's not as big of a deal, but um, yeah, it's just important to to keep tabs on that. Yeah, okay. I mean, because I personally switched over to to Jordan, and. I've had insurance for, I mean, it's my third house, my third car. I mean, he's 22, so. <laughs> 32 <laughs> things. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot. Trevor. And things that he asked me, I never even thought about. Like, I, I never even thought about it. And I've had how many policies? Well, the reality is, policies? is same thing for me. I have a lot of insurance where I've had no questions about a lot of that stuff. Yeah. And it matters. Yeah, it does. You know, and I'm sitting there going... And you're not taught that growing no. up. You're not taught like you just taught get full coverage. Like you're saying, <laughs> right. get full coverage. Yeah. Get yeah. gap Make sure insurance. Make you have insurance. Gap <laughs> Those insurance. two, gap insurance and full coverage. That's yeah. all Who I knew. Who told you to get gap insurance? My parents. The dealership probably. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I had gap insurance. Like, I've done saying. it. I, do, I did it once, but I paid the car off in like a year, so I got my money back. Yeah, car loans are the worst. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember why we did it on the one, but anyway, I, I, I usually am like, nope, but I knew I could get it back, and I did. 
Just saying, yeah. those those two, those are the only things I knew. Did Get they full also coverage tell, did they also tell you to pay for the car warranty? Oh, yeah. I'm sure. Your <laughs> car warranty is expired. I know. <laughs> I never renew it. <laughs> I never get them. No, no. Well, we that's fi- not true. I, I mean, got we, one. We financed my wife's car, but that's only because we got two years of free service for it. Oh, nice. Yeah, as long as we kept the loan for six months and then... And then you're like, bye. Yep. So. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so for you, how long have you been doing insurance? Insurance as a whole, I've been doing for almost 11 years. Nice. Um, I've had my agency for coming up on eight years Okay. Uh, with Farm Bureau, so... Yeah, it's been good. I mean, like we joked about in the beginning, you know, no one really dreams of being an insurance agent when they grow up. Um, so it wasn't really on purpose, you know. Yeah, I, how did you get into it? So I, I mean, I actually went. Believe it or not, I went to school for criminal justice, um, and I just worked sales jobs kind of through college and was always good at it. Yeah, I did everything. I started actually with political fundraising, which really. Is, yeah, which is brutal. I was going to um, say, that's painful. That'd be like my worst nightmare. Yeah, doing that for three <laughs> years over the phone. And oh. that, that, that teaches you to deal with rejection pretty easy, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you mean dating didn't do that for you? Yeah, no. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> mean. I'm just kidding. It's a guest on our podcast. Oh, I mean, that's right. I mean, I don't want to so brag, it easier but, to... you know, I, I had a pretty good success rate there. So. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> All right, no. fine. It's your insurance agent. He's like, bad. Yeah. He's <laughs> like I'm political agent. fundraising, not so much dating. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay, go so, on. No, no. So, I mean, yeah, just various sales jobs, um, political fundraising, tech support, uh, student loan consolidation, all the fun stuff, right? Um, and then I was living in South Florida, actually, at the time, and uh, my group of friends all worked in health insurance. Okay. So they all convinced me to get my health insurance license and start working with them and did that for a few years and... Not to make a long story too long, but um, <laughs> ended up meeting my wife, moved out to Utah, worked remote here doing the health insurance deal for about six months. And I just personally couldn't stand working from home and being new to an area, not knowing anyone. Yeah. Right. It just kind of got cabin fever. So, oh, yeah, for sure. Um, anyway, just went on Indeed one day and saw a job listing for an agent position with Farm <laughs> Bureau and applied. And you know, the rest is history. That's so crazy. That's oh. awesome. Yeah, and your good. office is where? We're in Layton. So okay. on uh, yeah Woodland Park Drive, right behind Red Robin. And what's the best way for people to get in touch with you? Um, I mean, phone call is always easy. Um, so we, one cool thing about our office is we have a text line as well. So all of our clients or anyone else can reach us via text if that's easier. A lot of people prefer that. What's the phone number? Uh, gosh. <laughs> so the, the office phone number is, uh, if you want to call, is 385-393-2747. And does the website have the text one? Uh, so I, I do know the text one. It's 801-217-9461. Okay. Yeah. And they yeah. can also find you on Facebook. Yep. Facebook, Google. You can just Google Jordan Spicer and Associates with Farm Bureau. Um, and you can find us on there as well. So. so what would you tell people, like, if they had to pick one insurance that mattered most? Is there? Can you answer that? I mean, in my opinion, I... I'm the most passionate about life insurance, actually. Okay, that's what I was wondering, because yeah. you do life insurance. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've, we've you know, home and auto is our bread and butter. That's kind of what keeps the lights on, so to speak, right? right. And it's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Life insurance, I just, I have a passion for it just because I've had, you know, a, a couple friends of mine that died too young and had to kind of see the consequences of not having it right? Um, for their families. And, and yeah, I think we've all seen that yeah. scenario go down where... People weren't protected and their spouse dies. And then yeah, what do you do at that point? Yeah. Right. It's tough. And, and especially Did here in Utah. Did you get yours? We're working on it. If, if Savannah would say yes. <laughs> we'll get it. We'll eventually. wear it down eventually. <laughs> we have but. some. Do you want me to text Savannah? So, <laughs> so something that Jordan brought to my attention yeah. that I had never thought about, and it was like this light bulb, which is why we're I'm pushing Savannah yeah. to get it, is um, – I have life insurance through my work, right? So we're good. It's not we're, that we're, much. we're good. Well, I mean, it's enough to pay off my house and all, okay. all my debt. But anyway, the thing he Yours brought is? up. I didn't yeah. think it was that good. I'll have to look at it. <laughs> well, you know, all I don't right, have keep, a house like yours. Well, keep anyway, keep going. so, um, <laughs> um, but the thing that he brought up was like, well, if it gets to the point where you get sick, you're not going to work. Mm-hmm. The moment you lose that job, that life insurance is gone. Yeah. And I had you don't never think about that kind of thought stuff. about that. It's like, oh, if I die, my life insurance and my work is fine. But normally, like, I mean, yep. hopefully it's not like 
right. instant, right? But if like you got sick, you want a long, and, painful, <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. Well. But like, it, it, he brought it up, and I was just like, why have I never? Why have I well, never you, you thought think, about you that? You don't think about that, you know. And it's like you always think, oh, I'll be employed, and I'll. I'll be able to get insurance through my work or whatever. Yeah, well, there's yeah, and like yeah, that's a that's a, one of the main main points and issues with employer provided insurance is yeah. is that the other one that people don't think about is most employer benefits, uh, especially on life insurance, have what's called age bands, um, so which basically just means the price goes up every five years. So when you turn 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, that price per thousand continues to go up and up mm-hmm. and up. And if you, it's funny if you actually do the math which we do for people all the time. Um, if you just bought, let's say, a $500,000 privately owned term life insurance policy through us or someone else, yeah. it's going to be more expensive in the short term um, versus an employer policy, right? But the way those work, those policies, the pricing is locked in. Yep, I have. For the, yeah. for the length of the term. So if you do the math long term, uh, more often than not, you actually end up spending on average about $25,000 more out of your pocket Jeez. on employer life insurance Dang. through the age of 60. Yeah, because I have private stuff, so I haven't paid much attention to the – I think I use what they'll give us. Just yeah, they for free. Give us for yeah, free, yeah. and then I have my – my own other policies. Which, and that's that's what I advise clients to do. You yeah. know, take what you can get for free. Kind of like 401k. You exactly. Only match as much as they'll give you or whatever. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I mean, it's... You give as much as they'll match is what I mean to say. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. Then you take the words right out of my mouth. So we, we do a little bit of that too, but, um, yeah, life insurance is probably my my passion. Yeah, the, the thing that really... Because it... Prote- I mean, like, you've also seen the opposite where somebody did have life insurance. Yeah. And they can survive yeah. and thrive, yeah. you know. Yeah, and be so. Yeah. If I can... all of a sudden get killed, Eric will be <laughs> just fine. Right. So you might have to find out if you did it. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I tell my wife all the time, or she tells me, you know, when when I'm in trouble, you're worth you're worth more dead <laughs> I know, than alive. But we are. I mean, that's that's the thing. It's like holy crap. My like, wife is not. <laughs> She hasn't said that to you, or she's not no, worth No, she's not worth more. Oh, well, you're so sweet. Savannah, get life insurance. <laughs> Seriously. If she listened to my podcast. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I have an idea. Subscriber to the podcast can make her listen to it in the car. Yeah, next time you're in the, on a road trip, just, <laughs> hey, honey, I wanted to. We are really driving to California podcast. in a couple months. <laughs> there you go. It's a long time. I can't believe you're taking your littles. Well, I do every I know. year. I know, but ugh. I'm a wuss when it comes to having oh, my kids me too. in the car. It's called an iPad. <laughs> no, we use that, but my kids after about three hours, yeah. maybe four, like to St. George is like, I can't do Cops. anything more than that. Yeah. I'm just done. Yeah, we're going to Nashville this month. and it's You're a, driving? No. No. but Because I used to live there. I'm like, that is a 24-hour drive. Do not do oh, that. Oh, I know. I'd, when I moved here from Florida, I drove oh, from yeah. South Florida, and I drove through Nashville. Oh, and it was. Is that like a three-day drive? Yeah, yeah, cool. two nights. Yeah, so I did twelve hours a day. So, were you born in Florida? No, no. So, that's a whole other story. Yeah, no, I was born in Wisconsin. Okay, um, that's but, where our company's headquarters is. Yeah, yeah, Madison. One in, yeah, one in Wisconsin, one in Texas, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So, yeah, cool. not much in Wisconsin other than the Packers and, about and cheese, eight, cheese, eight, yeah, eight, cheese. Beer about cheese. eight thousand bars. You know, that's yeah. about it. So, I think there's more bars in the city I was born in. Than there is in the entire state of Utah. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> I looked that That's up a lot. once. So, Dang. but yeah, Wisconsin. Uh, moved out of there. Moved to Oregon for a few years. Lived in California for about ten years as well. Uh, then back to Wisconsin in high school. And then as soon as I got out of high school, got the heck out of there. Like, moved, moved to South Florida. Right, kind yep. of polar opposite, and <laughs> love that. And then, uh, like I said earlier, met my wife. And did you meet her in Florida? Yeah, and yeah. Then he so followed her home. Yeah, well, no, she's from Idaho. Oh, so she? <laughs> yeah, and she was living in Idaho. So she, her, and her friend would take a vacation every summer, and that just happened to be in Miami that year, and met her while she was on vacation. Nice. And, yeah. Nice. I yeah. love, I love love tourist. stories. Yeah, I know. Right. So you, she was from Idaho, and you were in Florida, and you met in the middle. In Utah, yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. In I, the middle I, of Utah. I came. I came ninety. She came ten. Yeah. Yeah. So. Perfect. <laughs> Typical marriage, you know. So. Whatever, you guys are such wusses. Yeah, so it's... That my husband would totally be like, yep. Yeah, no, she didn't want to live in Florida, and I didn't want to live in Idaho, so uh, we both had family here and just kind of made sense. That's but, awesome. 
Facebook. Okay, so you're on Facebook. What's your website? Uh, just jordanspicer.com. Okay. Yep. So you guys give him a call because he he truly cares and he mm -hmm. gives you the coverage that you actually need. We all know that you can skinny down a policy and make it not cost as much, but you're not actually protected. And one thing I've seen a lot with um, in our world is that as values have gone up, people have not adjusted their homeowner's right. insurance to cover what their home is now worth. Yeah. Have you seen that a lot? Yeah, that's a big problem. Yeah. So, I mean, cost to build a house in the last four years roughly is up about 40%. Yeah, and it's like if you're on an old policy. Yeah, so that's one of the things kind of sets us apart is is my office and my whole team. Um, and I forgot to mention that. I do have a team of about four other employees that are awesome as well. But uh, one thing we stress with all of our clients and we offer is an annual review. Right? I think it's so. important. And I'm like, I've never mm -hmm. been offered that. And I'm 45. Yeah. You yeah. know, and I'm like, hmm. Yeah, you know? so it's, the insurance industry has become kind of a turn and churn type of business, you know, uh, yep. more on everything's more online and over the phone and email. And we kind of still take an old school approach to sit down and get to know our clients and kind of build that relationship. Um, but yeah, the home, the home values, that's, that's incredibly important because if you're, yeah, agent, cause we haven't, you know, there's times where we have to tell people you're underinsured. Like, mm -hmm. you know, when we go to do a refinance, yeah. they're underinsured, you have to up your insurance and yeah. they're like, oh, that sucks. I'm like, well, your house burned right. down. Do you want to be able to replace it? Right. right. Yeah. And in the grand scheme of things, I mean, increase your cover to hundred thousand dollars. It's probably going to cost you an extra hundred dollars a year. Yeah. Right. So. so another thing that's gone on recently is like, I know a lot of people have seen like auto insurance go up a lot. What is the cause of that? Oh man. So is there, yeah. is there a reason? Like, oh yeah. That? Okay. Yeah. And I can, I mean, it's kind of a long explanation, but so yeah, in the last four years, the home and auto industry as a whole, <clears throat> um, depending on which report you look at, is in the in the negative in the hole about fifty billion dollars. Oh wow! Um, which is not a very sustainable business model, right? No. So so that's why rates are up pretty significantly. The reason for it, there's really three main ones. The first is when the shutdowns happened during COVID, right? Manufacturing was one of the major sh issues. Uh, so if you recall, for know, what, 2020 to through. 2021 probably you couldn't really just walk into a dealership and buy a new car right right so that caused a shortage on new cars which caused the demand on used cars to, to skyrocket um, and anytime demand goes up on something the value follows right yep <clears throat> so used cars for a period of about two two and a half years there even still were inflated anywhere yep. between 30 and 40 percent and you're probably wondering what, what does that have to do with insurance right <clears throat> well if you total your car yeah, you know, the insurance company is going to pay you based on the blue book value at the time of the accident. So that means that the average claim for insurance companies for that time period was 30 to 40 percent higher on the payout mm -hmm. that makes than sense. it was pre-COVID. So that's the first issue. And then after COVID, the government, in all their wisdom, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Did you say those two words in the same <laughs> sentence? Yeah, sense of sarcasm. <laughs> Um, but they, they decided to print money like it was going out of style and yep. continue to do so. So that drove unprecedented inflation, which right. has impacted all of us, I think. Yep. Um, but on the insurance side, it's everything from car parts to medical bills to labor to materials for homes. You know, we talked about that already. Yep. And then the third piece to that puzzle, uh, more on the property side, the home side, is we've had four consecutive years nationwide of record-breaking storm losses. Really? So storms are oh. up in severity and frequency across the country. It's um, been prophesied. Yeah. I mean, there's some companies <laughs> in California Sorry, and Florida. I didn't mean that to sound sacrilegious. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it's bad. So, yeah, Florida and California. Well, there have been quite a few big storms that have caused a crap ton of damage. Utah's not as bad. Right. Uh, we're not My daughter keeps wanting to move to Florida. I'm like, have you heard of hurricanes? Yeah. And good luck getting insurance there right now. Right. So California and Florida specifically... Even the big companies like State Farm are non-renewing the majority of their client bases in those Jeez. states. Um, in some parts of California, you can't even get home insurance. And if you can, it's through a surplus lines insurer. Why can't you in California? Because of earthquakes or what? Wildfires. Oh, fire. Okay. Yeah, I was like... mainly. Um, so how do they... Because lenders get usually yeah. require insurance. So. so you have to either get forced placed insurance through the lender or so surplus lines insurance, which is oh my goodness. sometimes four to five, six thousand dollars a year just for a homeowner's policy. Right? Jeez. Um, but see, Ooh. forced insurance is super expensive too. So, yeah. yep. Wow. Yeah. So there's a, there's a lot of states that are worse off than we are right now. Sure. Um, 
But yeah, rates are up everywhere. You know, a lot of people. Because well, I was to listening corners, to a so. thing, um, Barry Habib, he's a financial guy, kind of heavily into the mortgage side of things. Mm -hmm. But he was talking about that a lot of the inflation numbers for individual items have come down, except for insurance. Yeah. And do you remember what the other one was? It was insurance, and then groceries. No, I think it was. Oh, I'll remember later. But I was, I was kind of intrigued by. Yeah. Oh, it was rent. Okay. Um, in, yeah. you know, I was like insurance. I was like, but then I thought about like. I mean, I expect my insurance to go up a little bit every year, especially mm -hmm. if my car's getting older, blah, blah, blah. Right. Value in my home's going up. I expect it. But I'm also in this industry, and I know that every year your escrow yep. account changes, and that's because your taxes and your insurance went up. Yeah. So, but, yeah, it's it can get pretty pricey, though. And you're right. I mean, in normal years pre-COVID, oh, right? Yeah. I mean, our rates, and generally speaking, rates across the industry would go up. You know, at the same pace as inflation, you right. know, two to five percent a year, right? Somewhere in there. Um, put that in perspective. In the last twelve months, the industry average uh, is about a forty percent rate increase. Oh I don't goodness. think I've seen that on my stuff. Yeah, some of it's lagging behind. Um, or you're just not coverage covered. <laughs> <next. Yeah. laughs> Let's talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I mean, every company is different. Every company is in a different position, right? Sure. Um, some are worse off than others. I mean, some I just heard yesterday, I won't name any names, but I will tell uh, you what it is. <laughs> but uh, I heard one, yesterday a company here in Utah is taking a 65% rate increase this month. Oh my gosh. Because um, we were talking about that where a lot of them, I mean, I've seen a lot of posts on Facebook where people are all upset yeah. about their rate increases and is this, you know, is this person screwing me over? And a, a lot of people are like, no, it's like industry wide. Yeah. It's happening to yeah, a lot of people. It's unfortunate. So, yeah. The good, I mean, the good thing is, for us, the people that are in the industry is it's not just us, it's everyone, right? Right. So, That's a little bit easier. It's kind of yeah. like with us where it's like rates are high everywhere, guys. Like, exactly. Yeah. It's, yeah. You know. Only so much is within your control, but it goes back to those annual reviews, right? So that's another reason those are important. We update the update discounts. We look for other discounts they may not already have that we can yeah. add. Try to keep that in check as much as possible for the client. And just to, and to make sure that when negative life happens, we're covered. I know. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So I think I'm, I don't want to say I'm overinsured, but I, 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 with the umbrella policy and a few other things I've done, I've, yeah. I hope I'm covered. Yeah. I mean, I've got an umbrella too. And, you know, I just look at it as peace of mind. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, an umbrella policy, add an umbrella policy to your insurance, you're probably looking at an extra 30 bucks a month. It wasn't bad. I was kind yeah. of surprised. Yeah. It's minimal. So that's where I was like, well, you know, with, you don't want people to be able to come after you on various things because when people think you have money, they think, mm -hmm. hey, that looks like a good target, yeah. you know, and you're like, you don't know what everybody actually has going on, oh, but yeah. cool. Yep. But yeah, so that's, I did that when I had several different businesses. I was like, I'm just going to make sure that we have yeah. an umbrella. And if you own properties, like rental properties that was, too. I think that was the main reason we mm -hmm. first did it. Yeah. And there's other things you can do. You can put them in LLCs, mm -hmm. right? You can put those LLCs in a trust, right? Yep. To kind of separate the liability, but... You know, I, I have a rental property and I do, I have the LLC, I have the yep. trust and I have an umbrella, right? Yep. Just because, I mean, these days you drive, driving down I-15, right? Every other billboard you see is a personal injury attorney, right? <laughs> it's true. Um, and on that note, we have a really good one in our group if yeah. anybody wants to. <laughs> yeah, no, he is a good one. So yeah. yeah, there's a, he's a good contact if anyone needs it. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for coming yeah. in. Yeah. You, you can also that? find Jordan's information on loans can be fun slash yeah. resources. So our, yeah, our, on our website, we have him under our resource tab as yeah. well. So if you forget his website or his name. And you know us. <laughs> yeah. There you go. You can find us. <laughs> awesome. Well, I appreciate you guys having me. Yeah. It's thank been, you. It's been fun.